Who's ready for a whole lot of Hulks in the MCU? Maybe even a possible multiverse of Hulks? Well, if that's you, good news. Let's talk about the oncoming Hulk onslaught. There's been a lot of Hulks and Hulk-like characters or periphery Hulk characters that are going to be popping up in the MCU or have already popped up in multiple projects. So is it at all surprising that we know that Marvel Studios and Disney have regained all the rights to the Hulk and intend to fully exploit them for all they're worth? I mean, it's already happening and it's already happened with She-Hulk and tossing in characters like Abomination and setting up things like the leader who's returning in captain america 4 but also we got hulk's son scar we got red hulk who's going to be leading the thunderbolt there's a whole lot of hulk action going on we even saw elements of it in uh, uh, secret invasion oh god oh, oh. all right got that out get them night sweats thinking about that series but yeah we can all see what's going on there's gonna be a mass production of hulks on like an assembly line that are all going to be a, a factor in the MCU. So what we're hearing now is that essentially Marvel Studios has realized well, what we got to do with Hulk is give a lot more Hulk action to the fans. And the best way to do it is by doing a World War Hulk film. Now, what's been reported most recently is that the whole Hulk thing is more or less going to be a Civil War-like story where... People get their hands on the Hulk serum, start reproducing Hulk-like creatures. You know, some organization out there in the MCU, probably run by the leader and Thunderbolt Ross, can easily be like, Hey, remember how we made Abomination? And um, that was kind of a little screwy. We fixed it. You can now maintain full control of your brain and also be a Hulk. Morph anytime you want. Line up soldiers and sure enough, they will. Thus... This puts the Hulk and his crew at the other side of it, where the governments are sanctioning Hulks and the Hulk and his crew is outlawed. And we're hearing that this is directly going to lead to this giant World War Hulk, where World War Hulk isn't so much what we think it is. It's changed in a way that fits the MCU. Now, the reports don't state what this would be, but I think you kind of understand what it is, right? It's good hulks versus bad hulks that's your world war hulk and it does make sense because that story would honestly work you can't just toss them onto a random planet and have hundreds of hulks out there although you could but that kind of becomes nonsensical and not important right it just becomes endless action and they're going to want to avoid that and try to tie it a little bit closer to everything in the mcu and if you think about it if Wilson Fisk and others are starting to run a crackdown on heroes, what a better way to do it than Kingpin being like, I'm working with Thunderbolt Ross. We're going to stop these hulks, but we got to utilize our own firepower. Engineer more super soldier hulks. Like, the story is so easily there, it almost seems too easy to be it. And then they can bring back the super scroll. <laughs> the super scroll. Oh, they're never going to mention that again, are they? Garbage. Oh.